Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to look to introduction to parametric equation. In fact, we're going to talk about something like this. What you see here, we call parametric equation. Why? Because we have an extra variable there, which usually means times t, and it helps a lot in uh, some classes. So uh, let's take a look to this problem. Consider this. Uh, parametric equation, right? And they want us to find, determine the points for t equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and so on. So what you have to do here is just plug these values in. So let's start with the first one, negative 3. So what do we get here? x equals negative 3 plus 1. That will be negative 2, right? And for y, the same thing, we're going to plug it in. So we have negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3. And let's see what that is. That is what? Uh, positive 9 minus 6, right? That is positive 3. So basically, we can say for t equals negative 3, we have an x of negative 2 and a y of 3. So that is pretty much what you have to do in this part A. Plug the values in and find uh, the x and the y. And then put them together as an order pair. So go ahead and try uh, negative 2. So if you end up with negative 1 and 0, then you did a wonderful job. And we can do the same thing for every single value we have here. And you should get this value. Try it and see if you get the same thing, if you uh, need more practice. So now, you see, these are order pairs, like we used to see when you have a equation just in x and y. So, and in fact, if we take a look to power p, they said find an algebraic relationship between x and y. Okay. So in other words, we want to go back to what we usually had, y equal, and sometimes you can have x equal. So how are we going to do here? Yeah. Take one of the equation, the easiest one, and solve for t. So in this case, you see I, I picked the first one because it's easy to solve for t here. Subtract 1, and we have t equals x minus 1. Okay. Now we're going to take this t, right? This x minus 1, we're going to replace these t's in, in the y equation. So we're going to have y equal t squared, right? But t is x minus 1, x minus 1 squared plus 2 times again t, which is x minus 1. So the only thing you want to do here is to do uh, expand the, the perfect square, which is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then use the distributive property here, 2x minus 2. And then simplify if it's possible, which it is. In this case, we see these x's cancel out. And we have x squared. And here we have plus 1. Minus 2 is minus 1. So this is the equation that has only x and y in it. So we have what they're looking for, right? And some of you will recognize this. That this is a parabola. You see the same uh, answer here for part B. And on the last thing, we're going to look how to graph. And you remember the equation was y equals x squared minus 1, right? y equals x squared minus 1. So some of you may remember that should look like what? One unit down and something like this, right? However, if you notice, this is the table we had before. So can I graph this guy using the table? And the answer is yes. So we have here negative 2, negative 3, right? 2 left, 3 up, negative 1 and 0. 
zero and negative one, one and zero, two and three, three and eight, and four and fifty. So in fact, the graph looks like this if we just a parabola, like I said, if we just look at these values. Okay, so now depends on your problem. Sometimes in parametric equation, we start from a point and we stop to a point. Like in this case, we're going to stop here. Uh, see how your problem looks like. Okay, so you see the same, the same graph here, but like I said, sometimes you may want to start here and stop to your last point, which is 4 and 50, right? Okay, so you see also, like I said, the equation, uh, the regular equation, which show us a parabola. Now, in this, I would like you to, uh, in the next part, I would like to show you how to use a graphing calculator, right? This is a TI-83, and you need to be aware this is possible for you to use the parametric mode in the equation. I, I said parametric mode. If you notice, we do have here something that is called a mode. So I went there and I click the parametric equation. So you go down using this menu and uh, go, go down with this button and go right and pick that thing, pick that uh, choice and then click enter. And now when you go on y equal, you should notice x and y, x, y, y, y. So two equation to put in. And now I want you to take a look here. We have x, t, theta, and n. So that's the button you're going to use when you're going to type in this equation. Okay? You see them here. We use t. So if we type in t equation, we have a couple more things. After you type in, you want to be, and if you click graph, you will see it's giving you just the right side. Why? Because the calculator is set up to start from zero, which is uh, the uh, the way the, set, the calculator is set up. So you want to change that, as you see on this uh, screen, change it, start from negative three or whatever, right? Start from negative three, if you, you need that. And also you want to go in the window, right? So don't forget, so table start, table set is one button that allows you to uh, change where your table starts. And also on the window, you notice t mean, the minimum value of t is zero. Right? You want to change it in three. In, I think I change it in six. Yeah, negative six. Okay. And now you can click, and you're going to get exactly the same graph I got by hand. Okay. So very important, uh, uh, very useful, but very important to know how to use this calculator. Okay. Now it's your time to try something. And uh, I will say to try this problem, part A, B see if it's possible and we'll be back
So I did most of the things, most of the value for t. I did not have enough space for t equals 3. But again, uh, I can check this work looking in the ti calculator and you see the values right here. So you should see these, you should have this value. Okay, how you get the, this value in your ti calculator? Click on table, right? Table mode uh, in your calculator and we should have all these values. Okay, uh, so that's the way to check it, find the points, okay? Uh, then look at here on the TA calculator, I use the parametric mode and I grab the equation. If you uh, remember uh, how to do it, that would be great. If you not, if you're not, use, use this value, plot them, and you should get the same graph, okay? And that is a cool thing. Look at here, that's what I meant. You can graph a lot more things on the TA calculator, right? You can graph uh, things that are not function now because you have this parametric mode okay uh, but let's see let's see what we get if we uh, do what we supposed to do in part b again i'm going to take the second equation y equals t minus 2 solve for t by adding 2 on both sides all right so we have t equals y plus 2 and now this t is going to go in the x equation x equals y plus 2 squared. You can notice it. This is a sleepy parabola. Yeah, we should expect that because you have y squared for if we uh, foil it. And this moves two units down. So if you remember anything about transformation, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's okay. That's what it is. Of course, you can foil it and you get y squared plus 4y plus 4. Um, and basically uh, that's what it is and on par c we craft the relation all these points you, you we mentioned in part a and then you can plot them and get a graph by hand or use a graphing calculator okay if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips thank you